All right, guys, how's it going? So I've not actually covered this basic tool yet. And it's one of these things you may never ever use or you will use it all the goddamn time. And I think it's down to force a habit more than anything else. And obviously I'm talking about the annotation tool. So if we come to the menu on the left hand side and we hold down the left mouse button, you'll see that we have several different options. So I'll select annotate. Now the best way I can describe this is think of it as a magic marker. It's ideal for jotting down notes, for quickly concepting out ideas, or maybe just giving yourself a little bit of direction, or in my case, making a horrible drawing. <laughs> we don't make mistakes, only happy accidents, and that is an accident. And it's also great if you're actually working in a team, so you can tell the director or another artist, delete cube. So let's take a look at a few other options here. If we hold down the mouse button again, you can see that we have a line, and that pretty much gives you a solid line. The next tool that we have is Polygon, and this is actually pretty good if you're maybe doing topology and you can't work out where the tries go or you don't know what way to do things, and you can just use the Polygon tool and quickly draw out a couple of ideas. And last but not least, we have the Eraser tool, which is pretty much what I need. <laughs> But if we bring up the properties by pressing the N on the keyboard, we jump down to Tool, you can see that we have Active Tool, so I'm going to change this back to Annotate, and it'll change. So on the right hand side, you can see that we can quickly change the colour of the annotation, but if we select Note, that'll let us hide the layers, and it'll also let us create more layers. Now what you can do is you can come up to the overlays here, and you can actually enable and disable here. But this is great if you're wanting to actually add more layers, so what I'll do is I'll quickly delete this layer and I'll show you how the placement works. Now we have several different options and I'm going to select the surface. And I'm going to quickly draw on the cube and look how it sticks to the geometry. So I can rotate it. I can then come to note, add in another layer, change the colour for example. Let's do something we can actually see. and it sticks to the surface of the geometry. And this is one thing not many 3D applications actually have, and it's a privilege to actually just be in Blender. So we can also change the position from the 3D cursor. So if I shift and right click, it'll move my 3D cursor, and wherever I draw from, it'll work on that axis. And I'll just show you the last one, which is probably one of the handiest, and it's actually View. So this is ideal if you're wanting to do something like framing. It actually sticks to the 3D viewport, so if the director says I need you to stay in this frame range, this is a good tool to use. And that's pretty much the basics of annotation. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter because I've got no mates, you know what to do, peace.